soil for your vivarium. These are some of the ingredients you'll need. And I'll go through each one, but uh, you don't need to buy this precise brand that I got in front of you. These are just the ones that I found work well for making a vivarium soil. So we'll get right into it. So first thing you're going to need to get is coconut core of some kind. Um, I like the Zoomed brand. It comes in bricks. It's fairly cheap and You'll have to uh, let it soak in water so it can uh, end up like a consistency like this because you can't really put the brick in it right away, but you'll be able to re-expand a brick. This is like less than half of a brick. You can kind of see that a whole bucket that size is like a half gallon for half a brick. So about a gallon of brick, maybe a little bit more. Um, that's one of the first things you'll need. So next you're going to need peat moss. It's uh, a softer, finer substance to mix in with your coconut core and your other ingredients. Um, it acts as a antifungal and helps promote uh, good aeration in well-drained soil but retains the moisture. So peat moss is the second nicest thing to have on your list. Third thing you're going to need is some kind of reptile bark. I just happened to grab this brand. It's just a uh, I looked at each bag that was there and picked out the one with the more interesting shapes and you're just going to need some kind of bark, um, be it cypress mulch or anything. So that's the next part of the ingredient. You're also going to need horticultural charcoal. I showed you guys this in another video. And uh, this was a little harder to find. I had to go to a garden, garden center to find this. You could order it online. Um, so you'll use this in the mix as well. Um, I also ordered a big bag of this tree fern fiber from Josh's Frogs. It's kind of very similar to coconut core, so I'll probably do about half of this to half coconut core um, for the mix. It's going to be the same kind of, this one will actually biodegrade, but not very fast, which is perfect for your soil. You don't want your soil to crumble away on you and rot and fall apart. You're going to want a kind of spongy airy soil that uh, for your frogs and you want to last a long time so that's next thing you're also going to need some uh, sphagnum moss um, long fiber I got this at a garden center as well um, this is a little got roots and stuff in it so I have to kind of pick through it but you're gonna only shred and kind of crush a little bit into the mix you're not gonna need a lot most of this goes above this layer between it and the leaf layer so this you just need a little bit inside. It acts as another antifungal and another place to hold moisture. And lastly, you're going to want to get a type of leaf litter because you're going to shred some of this up into the soil and allow for your springtails to have something eaten. You always need something that's going to degrade in your soil. That's why you also have the bark. Um, it's going to have it gets converted into your dirt that the plants will. Um, use and your springtails will eat, your isopods will eat. It's going to be the main part of your uh, uh, bug's diet in here. So I always put a little bit into the soil and then do a nice layer on top of the sphagnum above, you know, your three layers of substrate. So, and I'll do a whole video on that if you guys want to, um, explaining what the importance of doing the bioactive, the drainage, and all those different layers. There's a lot of layers, and they all have their own purposes. So, now that I showed you the ingredients, I'm going to start mixing them together. So now what you're going to need is a little container to mix your substrate in and some way of measuring. Um, so, we'll get started. And I'm going to change views for you guys, so that way you guys can see how much I add. And I'm only going to really add like a, a cup or two each, because I'm doing it on the miniature scale. And then you guys can expand it out. It's very even parts, at least in my mix. Okay, so ignore how dirty the container is, I've mixed a lot of soil in here, but first what I'm going to do is use this small deli container as my measuring guide. Whatever you're going to use, you're going to want to use the same thing to measure everything. So, 
Um, I'm gonna start out with two parts of this uh, tree fern fiber. I'm just gonna pour it out in the middle so you guys can see. And you guys can see it's long, fibrous, where the camera's at, um, substance. It's from, it's actually harder to find, so that's why I had to order that online. And pretty much, I'm gonna, this is gonna be the only, the only ones I do two parts to. Um, the rest will be one part too. So, second part. And then I will do full part of So next will be a full part of coconut core as well. Um, I'm going to do two parts to help spread out how much I'm using of it. Since it's a little, uh, the tree fern fiber is a little harder to get and a little more expensive. So I'm cutting it with uh, coconut core. Kind of, kind of acts as your um, similar part of the soil. So that's my two parts there. Next I'm going to do a a full or almost a full part of charcoal. It's gonna mix that in there. And start mixing it now, I suppose. And you can mix this dry or however you want. Um, I'm gonna mix it in just to kind of get an even spread going. Um, next I'm gonna add I'm going to add one full part peat moss, just kind of mix it in. It's another, it's very similar to coconut core in its use, so you don't really need a lot. I just use just enough in the soil to make it more like a soil. Then you're going to need, then you're going to need one part of bark. I'm just going to add that to the top layer. And you can add more or less depending on your guys' preferences. This is just my preference to kind of show you. And you can omit a couple of these, just look online, there's more people than me that have recipes out here for the um, bioactive substrates, but I find this one is one of my favorite one ways to do it. Um, next I'm going to add some leaf litter, it's going to be a little harder to measure, Let's see what I can do. one cup of leaf litter and I'll just throw that in and mix it into the soil this is oak fine uh, was it live oak leaf I guess is what it was called or something from Josh's frogs but you can use pretty much whatever oh, look at an acorn better pull that out and some people cook their um, leaves and their bark and all that stuff before adding to the soil, but I'm gonna have this soil sitting around for a while before I use it, so I'm not too worried about it. And last thing you're gonna need is some sphagnum moss. And I'm gonna do one part sphagnum moss. And I'm actually gonna kinda crunch it up and kinda get those little fibers. So it's like a little bit closer to peat but still long enough fibers to matter, so and I'll just start crumbling it. You see that it's, you don't have to mill it too finely. Just enough with your hands to kind of powderize it. I probably don't even need this much. And you can adjust your mixture a little bit depending on um, quantities of stuff you got. If you don't have, if you can't get tree fern fiber, just add more coconut core. Um, if you have like a Pac-Man frog like I do, I added a lot more coconut core to the mix. That way he was far in between that he'd eat something that was could kill him. So, and that is pretty much the mixture, guys. I'll get you guys a close look up now. So there you go. Gonna see all sorts of fun look to it, and that's gonna be a very healthy soil for your vivarium. And you can see, just that little cup made made that much of one little cup for each, which I think that's about I'd say almost a gallon worth of soil, probably maybe two gallons. But uh, there you guys have it.
This is Bleak Borns <laughs> Vivarium Soil. Um, you can copy me if you want, or if you have your own recipe, I'd like to hear them. And uh, I will go into the importance of each in another video of what each part of the plant does, or what each aspect of your soil does for you. So that's this video for now. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you uh, have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I'll always have more videos coming this way. And if you want to see more videos like this, please leave a comment down below um, commenting on what kind of videos you want. Otherwise, if you guys have your own mixture, please leave a comment down below. And uh, best thing yet, just watch videos. Um, this is Bleakborn, and I'll see you next time.